Hi everyone, it's Miss Jones and welcome to our art lesson this week. The month of November is National Native American Heritage Month. I want to take time this week to acknowledge and celebrate the lives and rich culture of the Native Northwest people. For our project today, we are taking inspiration from a very sacred and recognizable art form that is unique to the Native nation in our Northwest area. This art form is the totem pole. Totem poles are monuments created by the First Nations of the Pacific Northwest to represent and commemorate ancestry, histories, people, or events. Totem poles are typically created out of red cedar wood, which is a tree that grows in the Pacific Northwest. Most totem poles display beings or crest animals, marking a family's lineage and validating the powerful rights and privileges the family held. Common crests among the coastal First Nations include the wolf, eagle, grizzly bear, killer whale, frog, raven, and salmon. Totem bowls can also be created to honor a particular event or important person. Most First Nations commemorate the raising of a totem pole with a totem pole raising ceremony, which is often held with a feast or potlatch. At these ceremonies, the significance of the pole and stories of the crests are told. Of all the material culture produced by the coastal First Nations, the totem pole is likely one of the most recognizable cultural symbols of the Pacific Northwest. There are many different totem pole styles and designs that reflect the rich diversity of the First Nations histories and cultures that produces them. Today we're going to be using our own drawing style to create totem poles, which will include Northwest animal crests. So what you're going to need today for this activity is a blank piece of paper, a pencil for drawing, and something to color with. So colored pencils will work, markers or crayons, whatever you like to use. You can also use a ruler today if you have one um, to create straight lines um, for your totem pole. But if you don't have a ruler, that's okay. Um, you can always freehand it. So once you have all your materials, um, we're gonna start out by drawing kind of the base of our totem pole and our main totem pole shape, um, which is kind of just a rectangle. So you'll wanna have your paper um, portrait, uh, portrait direction or um, kind of tall way. Uh, so, and you'll need your ruler and your pencil. Um, if you don't have a ruler, you can always freehand it um, or find something that can be used as a straight edge. We're not measuring anything. We're just using it kind of as a line guide. So we're gonna start our line from the bottom of our paper here. And we're gonna draw a straight line um, up to the top. We're not gonna go up to the, all the way to the um, top edge of our paper, but we're gonna stop kind of um, just before we get there. So we have one line going all the way up now. We're going to draw a second line. Um, that's gonna be the other side of our um, totem pole and our rectangle. Um, it doesn't matter how large you want to make your rectangle, how wide you want to make it. Um, that is up to you, but I'm going to um, put my ruler down and then draw another line from the bottom. Kind of up to the top towards the same um, spot. Let my other line stop there. And now I'm going to connect my two lines at the top. So I'm going to connect those with a horizontal line. There we go. So now we have our rectangle totem pole shape. Um, so on totem poles, they are divided into different sections where they have um, different figures kind of stacked on top of each other. We're going to uh, create our sections next so we know uh, where we want to put our figures or our animals. 
So grab your uh, ruler and we're going to divide these, uh, this rectangle into three parts. We want to try and make each part uh, about the same size, but it's always okay if they're a little bit different. Awesome. So now we have three sections where we can draw our three animal crests. So now comes the fun part. We get to start decorating our totem pole um, to kind of make each section look like a specific animal. So um, try and think of three different animals you want to include on your totem pole. So when you're thinking of animals to put on your totem pole, I want you to think of um, animals that are kind of native to our Northwestern land. So think of forest animals. Um, I named a few animals earlier that are um, common uh, crests among the coastal First Nations, like a wolf, an eagle, a bear, um, a whale, a frog, salmon. Um, but if you have another kind of woodland creature, like a deer, fox, um, there are plenty others out there that you can choose. Um, but I recommend using um, kind of like a North American um, animal that you might see um, around here in our in our um, red cedar forests. Um, so I'm going to, uh, I decided I'm going to have um, an eagle, uh, a bear, and a frog. So usually we kind of put, um, the one at the bottom is kind of holding all the other uh, animals up. So um, you can, usually people like to put their favorite one on top, um, but you can um, kind of arrange them however you want. Um, so we're going to just start drawing kind of in our own style um, the different animals that we chose. So I'm going to start with my bottom animal here, which is going to be my frog and work my way up. Um, if you're having trouble thinking about what your animal looks like, um, maybe you can ask a grown up to help you find a picture um, of an animal to kind of give reference. Um, you can also uh, look up um, different totem pole animals if you'd like. Um, and take inspiration from those. Um, so I'm gonna start with my frog and I'm kinda gonna draw some big eyes. And on our totem poles, we wanna make our animal face really big. So if you wanna add a tail or legs, uh, wings, you can do that, but remember to kinda make the face kinda the main part. some pattern onto my frog, um, some spots to make it more frog-like. Um, it can be kind of difficult to kind of turn a blocky thing into uh, an animal or creature, um, but do the best you can. I actually think my frog looks pretty good. Um, so now I'm gonna move on to my second one, which I'm gonna make uh, into a bear. my eyes I've been trying to kind of add these points to them um, this is a very uh, another style kind of choice um, done by the First Nations of the Pacific Northwest so they kind of do a lot of these kind of uh, almondy shapes um, which is kind of fun and kind of gives it more of that um, Northwestern um, Native American look um, so you can do those if you'd like. Uh, I'm gonna move on now to my um, eagle. I'm gonna do a big bird on top. I really wanted to add some wings. Um, so a hawk, a owl. Um, these can be kind of fun um, um, animals to either put in like the center or um, the top to kind of be like they're flying. Um, and they're very um, recognizable. Um, in uh, the uh, totem poles. Usually they're kind of at the top.
have it. I have finished drawing out my totem pole. I started adding kind of these, um, like I said, these almond kind of shapes. Um, uh, they're very prominent in the um, Northwestern um, First Nations um, culture. Um, so doing kind of like these um, teardrop leaf shapes inside of one another, kind of layering those will give it kind of a more of that, um, that kind of a Native American cultural vibe. Um, so now that you have finished your drawing, um, you can start to color. Um, so uh, I'm going to try and color mine, um, kind of to use a few colors that, um, that are very prominent in the Pacific Northwest totem pole. Um, these are colors like turquoise, blue, red, white and black. So I'm gonna kinda use mostly those colors, but you can always use whatever colors you want. Um, you can always color your frog green and your bear brown um, and your um, uh, eagle. Um, you can always make them uh, whatever colors kind of you see fit because this is your creation. Um, so uh, I'm gonna color mine and we'll um, see it when it's all finished. coloring these are the colors I'm using I just want to kind of pause um, to let you uh, kind of see the different colors like I said you can choose whatever colors you want um, but I'm gonna use kind of some reds browns um, and then kind of like a teal and this dark blue as well as black um, and I'm using these because they are um, kind of uh, typical colors and color palette used in the um, Pacific Northwest native style. So um, I kind of want to stick traditional and um, limit myself to these colors, but you can always use whatever colors you want. Um, I might add a few extras, maybe like for the beak. Um, I'll add um, some yellow, but um, trying to keep it mostly just these colors.
have finally finished my um, totem pole, coloring it all in. Um, I actually went and looked up um, totem poles uh, created by the First Nations of the Pacific Northwest and found that there was... Um, Yellow was indeed a color that they often use. Um, sometimes they use like a bright green also. It looks like they use um, a decent amount of color. So I decided to add the yellow in, um, which I'm really glad I did. It kind of gave it a nice pop. So here is my um, animal crest totem pole. I have my frog, my bear, my eagle on top. Um, I'm really happy with it turned out how it turned out. Um, I decided to add a background as well, so I added kind of a ground where it's sitting on and then into the sky because they're um, usually very tall. Um, so uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this project. Um, I can't wait to see how everyone's totem poles turned out and the type of animals you picked as your crests. Um, I hope you enjoyed this activity and um, keep your totem pole up uh, displayed in your home um, for the rest of uh, National Native American Heritage Month. Um, remember the people who uh, uh, call our land home and um, have been here for um, thousands of years. Um, we love their, their culture and that is a part of where we live. Um, so thank you everyone. Uh, have a great rest of your week and I will see you later. Bye.